Whenever you open up Apple Motion, you're generally greeted by the project browser. Now in here, we have options like the motion project, final cut effect, the generator, the transition, and of course the title. Now, the motion project is essentially just its own individual project. It's not really linked to Final Cut Pro in any way. This is usually what you're gonna use when you don't need a specific template for an animation you're building out inside of Apple Motion. But then all of these other elements actually do link into Final Cut Pro in unique and interesting ways. For example, with the Final Cut effect, you can build out your own effect that can be applied onto a specific clip in your timeline. The Final Cut transition is a of course gonna get you from clip A to clip B in any way that you see fit. But the one question that a lot of people have is what is the difference between the Final Cut generator and the Final Cut title? The first and primary instance that you'll see a difference between these two is by opening them. So when we push open, you'll notice the first difference being that this title comes with the title added into our project. But more importantly, underneath that title is the title background. I'll go ahead and enable that. Now, if we were to open up the Final Cut generator, you'll notice that it comes in completely empty and it does not have that title background. Also, inside of the generator, we are unable to add a title background should we want to. And the reason why this is so important is taking a look at this title background. If I were to go to my filters and we could add in this crazy colorized filter, just something that makes it so we can really see what's going on. Then if I were to send this over to Final Cut Pro, we'll just call it the title project and we'll throw it into my tests category and push publish. Loading it up inside of Final Cut Pro, we can locate our title under tests. Here's our title project. And when I apply this, if I put my playhead over it, you'll see that this title is affecting the clips underneath it. So that's where that title background comes into play. Additionally, if somebody were to come over to the left side and use the transform tool, we can move this around. You'll notice that by moving that title, it's also moving the underlying layers. Whereas if we were to come into our generator, we could go to our library generators and maybe I will just add in a nice gradient. We'll save that and throw it into our tests category push publish. We can go back into Final Cut Pro. I will load up our generator that we just created under tests and just apply that on the timeline. And while this generator does in fact cover up the whole video element that's happening underneath, you'll notice that if I move it around using the transform tool, this generator is not affecting the underlying layers. And this is the one big key difference. Generators do not affect the underlying layers, whereas as titles, if you should so choose, can in fact affect the underlying layers. Additionally, titles come in as this purple line, whereas generators come in with a nice thumbnail, so you can very quickly and easily see which generator has been applied onto the timeline. So if you ask me, most of the time, using a title is the better option as it offers more flexibility. But if you want to clearly see what you are using and if you want to further organize so that maybe you put your backgrounds inside of your generators, then you might want to use a generator because they come in with a thumbnail and they're also in a different section of Final Cut Pro. Really, the differences aren't too drastic. It just comes down to a matter of preference and workflow for how you like to edit. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you might wanna check out this video where I show you how to get started with Apple Motion in just 25 minutes. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.